This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This app uses the mod operator, ooh, to tell the user if they have entered a number that is either divisible by three or five. If the user, well, let's see what it does. I'm hitting run. All right, so there's some code, run. Fizz buzz, enter a number. Okay, I'll do 15. Bloop, fizz. Oh, if the number is divisible by th three, the word is fizz is displayed and an image of fizzy drinks. That looks like milk, but fine. If the user enters a number that is divisible by five, buzz is displayed. Well, wait a minute, 15 is divisible by both, but okay. Hey, buzz, oh, a B. Read the code, run the program, try entering a different number, see how it works. Add code so that when the user enters a number, ah, that is divisible by both three and five, the word fizz buzz displays, and both images. Show me how, what tip do they give us? If, else if, oh, do they want, nope, we can use the and, and operator. All right. So let's see what we got here. Right, so right now, guys, if it is divisible by three, yep, bloop. Okay, so I'm going to hit this, plus, plus, and now I don't want just else, I want else if, so if, honestly, if I hit this little plusy thing again, plop, there we go, and I'm going to throw an and, and. Let's keep in mind what this does here. This means both things on both sides of this must be true for any of it to be true. Let's keep on line what, in mind what a modulo operator does. So how is this application actually working? Let me go to the top here. When I hit reset, when I hit run, on the event that the fizz buzz button is clicked, okay, well, this button right here, guys, is, look, the fizz buzz button. So on the event that is clicked, I hide the fizz image, the buzz image, and the fizz, yep, title, let's see, image one, hide element, fizz image, buzz image, yep, those two, and the output is set to nothing, which is this. Okay, store the user's number in the variable number, number get the number so once i hit the button whatever number i have here number input you see the id there that get the number of number input slap and number our variable which is way up here number is now equal to whatever was in here then what do we do if the number is modulo or modulus operator modulus three which guys modulus is the remainder so the Modulus of five is two. If if five over if the number was five, five modulus three is two because that's how much would be left. Three goes into five one time. How much is left? Two. All right. If uh number modulus five, if the number is nine, well five goes into nine one time. What is the remainder four? All right. That's what a modulo does. That's what this modulus operator is doing. So. The only time it would be equal to zero is if three goes into the number evenly or five goes into it evenly. Now, what they're saying is what happens if both of those things are true? If three goes into it evenly and five. Well, now that I'm thinking about this, I actually don't want and and down here. And that is because if three goes into it evenly and five, this is going to mess it up. Because if three goes into it evenly, if I have 15, this first if statement is true. 15 divided by three, right, modulo three, is zero. Because three goes into that five times and it will output fizz. That's not what I want, though. I want it also to double check that five also doesn't go in. So I'm going to move this down. Get rid of that. I'm going to move my three down. Boop. Because the first thing I want to know is if both of those are true. And I'm actually going to just switch into text mode for this. It's a bit faster. So let me switch back. And again, I could have pulled out blocks. What is this, though? And, and, number is divis is modulus 3, number modulo 5 is equal to 0. So if both of those are true, what do we want to do? We want to output set property. They're not even giving us set text. Oh. I'm going to just write it then. Good try, guys. Set text. Thank you. And then what's the text going to be? We want it to be fizz buzz. I guess like this as a string. And then I'm going to show both images. I'm just doing copy, control C, control V here. But let's see what it looks like now. 
So set text fizz buzz. Uh, is that how they wanted it written? Capitals, no capitals, did they tell us? Yes, capitals. Woo! All right, let's give this a shot. Yeah, yeah. And now this should just be fizz still because 5 modulo 12 modulo 5 is a remainder of 2. However, 3 will go into that evenly. 3 goes into 12 four times, so that should just be fizz. Now, what about 10? 3 doesn't go into 10 evenly, but 5 does. B. And what about, well, 15 again. Awesome. Onward.